Warwick Chapter 2 Critical Thinking and the Professional Accountant Although the purpose of critical thinking is to understand, its practice leads to evaluation and to judgment. Critical thinking skills are essential to understanding, applying, and adapting concepts and principles in a variety of contexts and circumstances. These skills include a willingness to take nothing for granted and to approach each experience as if it were unique. These skills are absolutely essential for CPAs. There is a Heart Research Associates survey, the link is provided, that shows that 81% of employers highly value critical thinking skills. However, only 26% of employers say that college grads are prepared for critical thinking skills. Let's look at Bloom's Taxonomy. There's six levels, knowledge, comprehensive, application, absolutely critical, analysis, synthesis, and evaluation, important parts of the role of a CPA. Higher order knowledge occurs when using higher order skills. One must be able to perform lower level skills before moving up. Accountants must be able to work at the higher levels. Let's look at the lower levels, uh, knowledge, which is recall, comprehensive, which is grasping material, and application, using material in a new situation. All Accounting 2375 students have these skills and knowledge from the prerequisite courses. Students are now ready to work with the higher order skills. Analysis, breaking ideas into component parts. Synthesis connection among different components to derive relationships that tie the parts of the answer together. Critical assessment, evaluation, examination of the conclusions reached for sound logical reasoning. You will hear me call this over and over reaching a tenable conclusion. Watch for and follow up on red flags. Does it make sense? Do I need to ask more questions or obtain more information? A red flag does not automatically mean that something is wrong, but it certainly requires us to follow up on it. Critical thinking results less from practicing skills than from adopting such attitudes as persistence, open-mindedness, thoroughness, and flexibility. This requires sufficient time and independent analysis. It is more than always expecting someone to tell us what to do or which decision to make. Let's look at reasoning. To arrive at a solution to a problem, it is helpful for, the, helpful for the professional accounting researcher to concentrate on the eight universal elements of reasoning. As with any new skill, this takes practice and time. See the discussion on page 25 of Wyrick. The eight elements of reasoning, purpose, issue, information, concepts, assumptions, interpretation, implications, and conclusion. So again, our focus is, is on those higher levels, interpretation, implications, and reaching a tenable conclusion.